What is good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I did post the past two days uh, my first video and my second video. If you haven't go, gone and uh, watched those, go ahead and check those out. The first one was reg, second one was a pack opening. And um, today we're gonna go ahead and hop into mutt. I have not played a single game of mutt this year. Um, but today I'm gonna be recording that for y'all. And you know, if you didn't go watch the pack opening yesterday, I did show my team. Y'all see on the top right, I'm at 80 overall. I did do a little bit of, you know, getting players, a little all that. Y'all see the player that's already in the lineup, but we're going to go ahead and jump with the offense first, show the defense in a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and start with the basics for offense right now. Um, I did end up getting this Josh Allen, powered him up. He's an 83 base with the power up 84. Um, the reason why I like that card so much, he has a little bit of versatility on his feet and being able to throw the ball um, to the new acquisitions, the new acquisition that I just got in Deshaun Jackson. He has about like 89 speed, but Josh Allen, he has 90 throw power. He's going to be able to get him uh, as far as possibly um, with that 90 throw power. And nothing really, oh yeah, I did upgrade this Trent Williams to his 86 overall. I can power him up as well. Um, uh, I'm a little bit low on coins though, you see. I only got 46,000 and I only have a few training. But what I do plan on doing, I uh, can't forget the last acquisition, Saquon Barkley. I did not buy him, but I did pull him. Like, I don't know what it is, but my pack look as of right now has been pretty good. Because um, I have gotten this Kyle Pitts, the Noah Fant. The Saquon, I didn't pull the Tariq, but like this one-two combination right here is going to be deadly with Saquon and, uh, and uh, Tariq. Both of them have above 85 speed, so both of them are going to be able to get out get out the gym, um, outside zone, inside zone. It don't matter. They're both going to take off. I do need to get a third wide receiver. Will Fuller and Deshaun are going to be the, the two main targets, while Dante and Andy are going to be um, splitting carries. Um... And I don't know, see who, who I like better. Um, nothing really changed on the O-line. And let's go ahead and check out this defense. I did a little bit of work to the defense. Y'all could probably see some new people on the safety positions. We ended up picking up this Minka Fitzpatrick, powered him up. And I did say in yesterday's video that he was going to get a flashback. It turned out to be true. Um, we can go ahead and compare him, I guess, to uh, Nazir Al Nazir Adderley, our other position that we got. Y'all see how he compares to him. Um, Mika, 6'1", 89 speed powered up, 90 Excel. Y'all see the stats. Come on now. Y'all see the stats. He's an absolute beast. He's going to be able to hold it down in the secondary um, and do what he got to do best. Nazir Adderley, I did pull. Or I'm sorry. I didn't pull. I ended up buying him. I was looking at strong safeties to replace because I had a corner playing there, whatever. But um, none of the strong safeties I wanted to fit with my scheme. So I ended up just getting a free safety moving on the strong safety until a strong safety comes out. Or at least a good enough one that could, you know, be versatile enough to play there. Um, and then I think that's it for offense. I mean, for defense. But these two players alone are going to be a huge help. We're gonna be able to get more rotational players um, involved, and I have been I have been labbing a little bit. I have been running a little bit of uh, and trying to see there my offense too. I've been running a little bit of a scheme for both Pat's offense, Pat's defense. In case y'all are wondering what that is, um, specialist still the same and everything. But what I do end up planning to do is getting Minka since I have him powered up to get him X factored and um, have him with some abilities. And, you know, I only have 644 training to get him and both Josh Allen some abilities with X factors. I need about like 2,500 training, but training isn't easy to come by. A lot of a lot of players, especially elites, um, the low overall, the low overall ones, they go for a lot of coins um, at this point of the game. So turning elites into training is a little bit difficult. So what I'm just going to keep on doing is try to farm up coins, get a high enough overall player, a 87, the Mika Fitzpatrick I got, I looked 
uh, how much training he has he goes for about 1500 training in case y'all want to know so we're gonna try to stockpile coins get the training and then put some abilities on Josh Allen while also putting abilities on Minka once that's done we're gonna go ahead and you know what we'll just let it rock we'll let it rock right now so y'all see the team we're gonna go ahead and hop into our first gameplay I will see y'all whenever we hop into the game all right so it looks like we hop into the game those are my top three they're not really my top three Von Miller just X Factor so that's why he's up on the screen um, but sorry about that um, but like I was saying you know I didn't really peep his team y'all can go back and look at that he has no money spent on his top so I feel like we're gonna have about the same amount of um, overall comparison wise so hopefully we can come out with the win he has um, I don't even know his first name but I know he's one of the legends you can get in the beginning of the game I chose Jack Youngblood he ended up going the wide receiver route so we're gonna go ahead and see play a little bit of defense I gotta see what it comes out he comes in single back all right we're gonna come in at 6-1 even we're gonna go ahead and call cover four quarters pinch the line we're gonna play anything over the top he's gonna end up run the ball we're gonna get outside containment he has Derrick Henry I don't know what overall Derrick Henry that is but Derrick Henry is still Derrick Henry at the end of the day we're gonna let it rock all right we're gonna call gun I'm not gonna show what I have labbed yet, but we're gonna stay in a cover four. He's gonna run the ball again. We're gonna get, oh, we could have got there. What could have been a, a loss of a game turns into three yards. So we gotta play better, make open field tackles. That's gonna be the huge part of getting stops, making open field tackles. He's gonna be an eye form this play. I'm gonna go ahead and blitz him. We're gonna man up the corner on the left. He's gonna run crossers. Can I get there? The cor oh, oh, he did me dirty. He did me dirty. What? TJ Hawkinson just went crazy that play. Like I said, I have to make open field tackles. If I don't make open field tackles, he's gonna win the game. He's gonna stay in eye for him. I'm gonna give him a double A gap look. We're gonna come out in double A dog blitz. Send both middle linebackers. Man him up. He's gonna be on the island. We're gonna QB contain to get enough pressure. He's gonna be running the ball. And we make a play. Now it's second and seven on the 10 yard line. He's still gonna stay in the eye form. We're gonna call like a cover three type of look. We're gonna we're gonna play that type of zone. He's gonna run the same play. We're over the top. We're over the top. Herbert's gonna roll out. He's gonna fumble. Nizer Allery picks it up. Ah, oh, we should have got out. We should have got out. We should have got out. But that's a good play of defense right there. He decided to roll out, knowing he has a quarterback in the backfield running and he makes a crucial mistake what could have been seven points he ends up coming with nothing right there now he's gonna give a double a gap look we're gonna decide to go outside zone and we get one yard on the carry we did have the rpo bubble on there uh didn't feel really confident into throwing that as i thought he was gonna be able to peel off in that but we're gonna stay in this information try to make him guess now we do have that crosser by top by Kyle Pitts. Hopefully that gets open. Hopefully we can do something with this though. We get the play action. We're looking. We're gonna throw down the middle, wide open. He gets a good hit stick, but not before we reach the first down. We get the chains moving on that. He did play match coverage on there. You'll see on the bottom right. Um, but. All right, I think this time we're gonna be running one of the setups that I had. It is gonna be running match. It is out of single back bunch, PA post shot. We're gonna do that, clear him out, and then I have Kyle Pitts on coming across, depending what he runs. Can we, oh, that's a really bad pass lead. Under pressure and accurate, end up throwing the pick. We're gonna get him down right there though. We might, I don't know if he was in the cover, I'm pretty sure he was in the cover three actually now that I think about it. Um, we end up, you know, making a terrible turnover on our first series.
but hopefully we can play some better coverage down the field. He's going to be able to run up the gap. I missed the shoot. And Mika ends up getting the tackle. Probably touchdown saving tackle, to be honest with you. He's going to stay in this. We're going to come out in a 6-1 front. Um, and this time we're going to come out in a cover 3 type of look. While Mika's down in the box. We're going to pinch. He's going to run the ball again. Run right into one of our linebackers. And he ends up getting a carry of 5 after falling forward. That's fine. We're going to be sending heat on this play. That could have been bad. Luckily, we were able to get pressure with the linebackers we blitzed. Um, I was waiting for the crosser that was coming across. He ends up throwing to the tight end that comes out on that route. But we have to say, like teams like this, we have to stay disciplined. We have the, he comes out and other, he has good D, good D. Von Miller with the, pa the pass breakup on TJ Hawkinson. Looks like TJ Hawkinson, he's going to be going to a lot. Um, but we do have fast DBs, so we are able to get out on that. He's going to be passing it. We're going to take there. He's going to throw it deep. Wow. That is a defensive breakdown by Vaughn Miller, but he does have the, the matchup on that. I. That is a good play by him. He recognizes the linebackers on a wide receiver. He's going deep, and he ends up seeing the wide open target. I thought, you know, playing man coverage, everything we boxed there, I should have came out in a um, a one four six defense like I was talking about earlier and, you know, stopped what needed to be stopped underneath. Because if we were in a uh, one four six right there, we would have had a DB on him and it more than likely would have been covered all the way down the field. But instead of, you know, getting a turnover at that point, he ends up getting touched down. Now we're back on offense. We're still going to stay to the run game. You don't want to just pass all the time. That makes you predictable. You know, being in this formation, it probably does look predictable like I'm about to do it, about a run. Um, but, you know, if he can't stop it, then, you know, why get out of that, you know? This time, we're going to come out in the, in the ace. We're going to run PA post shot. We're going to have our setup going. We have the drag by pits, the slant, and the post coming on one side. Depending what he decides to choose, we're going to be able to have the crosser. Good throw by Josh. Way to move the chains. We're just going to we're gonna play smart, make the right reads. Right there, he was in a cover three hard flat. And we were able to get it over him. This time, I'm going to call a sales concept. We're going to have Jackson go deep, have Fuller come in there, have Pitts there coming across. Can we hike the ball? Can we hike the ball? We do have the flat. We're going to take the flat. Never, never be afraid to check down because that check down, he, he falls forward. He ends up getting six yards on what would be a normal, I guess you would call like a two yard gain. So don't be, and you could always make a move, make a, make a man miss. We get good, excellent run blocking by the low, the O lineman right there. Trent Williams being able to climb up, get the linebacker. That's excellent, excellent right there. Now we we're set up in another. We're gonna end up flipping this, get the wideouts into more space, being able to do what they want. We are gonna block Saquon, have Fant on an out route just in case, and we also have Pitts to check down. We're gonna be able to get the corner. That was close, nearly intercepted right there. Um, I have to do a better job on reading on that. And, and you know, if anything, beat it outside so that it is a um, a win-win scenario even if it falls to the turf. We're going to be able to take the check down, get Saquon in the flat. He makes a good reach tackle in open space. Third and seven now. And we are in field goal range, so we are not going to force it. But this is also one of the plays that I've been going to. 
depending if he's in the cover three or not this could get open but we're gonna have to wait and see we have two crosses coming across um and we also have saquon on the back side in case we need it i don't know why i threw that away i got nervous i saw the guy coming back side i didn't know if josh was fast enough it's still early in the game we're going to go ahead and take a three our kicker should have the leg to get this in yep so we're gonna be able to go boom a little bit missed on the accuracy but as long as it goes in it doesn't matter now he's up three seven i'm sorry seven three so now we're gonna kick off to him we gotta we gotta force him to do something other than throw to tj hawkinson you know he's gonna be wanting to go there on this mesh concept can we get a hit stick we don't every tackle he breaks as well he's gonna get more fatigue so if he breaks a tackle go instantly when he can't make a move and try to force a fumble that's that's an easy way to get a turnover um, by having good kickoff coverage so now we're gonna be in the same look I'm gonna be here we're gonna have him on the running back just in case he's gonna be stretching we come up make a play he gains five so now he can, he's still gonna be in his eye form we just have to make sure that we don't suck in and force something to which it wouldn't need to be forced he goes tj hawkins wide open again wow i'm just getting my ankles broken okay that is fine that is fine that is fine if i get open space i will make a move um and i'm pretty much gone because i have been working on my stick too Good tackle. I'm not sure. Oh, we do. We do get boss second half. So if we can prevent him to no points, that would obviously be the best option. But if not, then that is okay. This could be sketch. This could be sketch. We're, we're beat over the top. And Jones is not able to recover on that. That is my fault as well just making really bad decisions um on play calling on adjustments wise on everything so um we have to like i said we have to stay disciplined he's going to be wanting to be able to run run the ball run the ball with derrick henry and then try to catch it slipping and um take deep shots as he just did right there we're going to go we're not trying to get hit stick we're going to be able to fall to the turf we're going to have the 20-yard line. We have 32 seconds with all three timeouts. Um, so we're going to go ahead and survey the field. We're going to come out and PA crossers. And what we're going to do is slant pits. We're, we have Johnson coming over the middle. We're going to have a hitch. Block Saquon. We're going to move Jackson over. Get him in some space, hopefully. We're going to hit the ball right there. We're looking, we're looking, we're looking. Nothing open. Jackson, that's a really bad throw right there. I should have set my feet. We had an opportunity to do something with that. Unfortunately, Josh Allen is not make um, the throw, but that is okay. He was in a cover nine, it seemed like. Um, so if he stays in a cover three, we're going to try to burn him over the top with Jackson if not we're just gonna be able to throw the fuller take what we can get right there can we get yep Jackson gets over the top on the cover three camera curl who's X factored isn't able to get to it and that's an easy touchdown right there just off a of simple cover three and it was a match too you cannot match the Sean one-on-one you have to put either get safeties as far back as possible or put somebody that's as equally as speed right there because 99 times out of 100 he's going to be able to to burn his matchup and get deep down the field and do something with it and even if it, it's like one-on-one -on -one, he's in front 
Deshaun, I feel like he's going to be able to burn anybody who's in front of him or make a move um, with his agility. Wow, that was a little bit weird right there. So now, nine seconds left. We have to make sure we don't get beat. Hopefully he plays aggressive. I'm going to come out one four six. This is really bad against uh, this sort of formation. But hopefully we can do something with this. We have people coming all over the field. He ends up throwing it away. We do get pressure. Last minute. We're going to go ahead and accept that. Make it a second and 22. Because he gets intentional grounding. Now, I'm not sure if he's going to... He's gonna probably going to take another play. Yep, he's going to stay in the same formation. We're going to come out once again in 146. We got to be over the top on everything. We're looking at everything. We see the check down. And he's going to get down. We're going to keep every. We only have one guy to adjust. But we're going to go ahead and lock. Now we do get the ball to start the second half. We have to. Let's see if he. Okay, he's going to do a normal kickoff. We are in position to make this a a um, three point game on our part if we score but like I said we need to score we're gonna get down I don't know what he has on that camera curl I don't want him to have enforcer or anything like that where he comes makes a hit stick and he gets a free easy seven we just cannot allow to give up points like that so we're gonna come out run the run the ball again we can control the pace of how we want to go um, like I said we're only down by four so we can do anything we want to at this point. We can run the ball, uh, pass the ball, anything like that. So we're gonna we're gonna stay in the I form. We're gonna call a stretch to the weak side because if he decides to commit that camera curl, he had oh Von Bell he has out my way and secure tackler. We have the bubble. We're gonna throw it. Hmm, he ends up getting a good tackle. I was trying to make a move. Um, the bubble seemed to be in front of him though so we should have just been able to outrun him we're gonna call the same exact play we're gonna flip it so that we can get to the weak side boundary we do have numbers over there on that side and we also have Deshaun we, get, we need one block we make one miss we just move the chains easy as that Now we're going to come out and wing flex. And we're going to run a, a read option. Because hopefully, you know, we catch him slipping. Nope. But Saquon powers forward for three yards. Well, actually four yards. You love to see the fight. Um, it does look like... Josh Allen is a little bit tired though, so we're just gonna call something simple um, So that way, you know, he doesn't get hit again and he's completely fatigued not able to run outside the pocket We have to call something We have, we have nine seconds We're just gonna be able to run this rock again There's no need to rush take what the defense gives us and We're gonna be able to get two on that play so now it's a third and five um, we're going to go to bunch and we're going to call PA curl flat. He's either in, it looks like a cover two or a cover four. I was not trying to do that. We do have the check still. Can we get that over him. He ends up making a good play on the ball. I was under pressure. I had to make a throw. It's third down. I'm not going to throw the ball out of bounds. I try to make something out of it. And um, he ends up having really good defense on that. Now we're going to be in a cover three. With somebody down the middle. He ends up running the rock. Wow. Derrick Henry makes what looks like 
nothing into something there. Um, I do feel like I can have a bag on this play. I just have to make sure I see everything. He sees me come down, but he has nothing. He has nothing. Wow. He ends up getting a nice chip block on me. And he ends up rushing for the first down. Now I'm going to call cover three. With both of them blitzing up the middle. He ends up running across. Can I get there? We ended up stopping his momentum. And he ends up getting a two yard gain there. Now we're going to be in a 4-3 odd this time. He's going to come out and gun. I wouldn't be surprised if he does come out in a run. But we're going to fake it. We're going to press. Man aligned. Shade inside. And he does end up running the ball. Can we get a nice hit stick? We He ends up bouncing off the tackle. Antonio Gibson uh, makes it a 31 now. So I wouldn't be surprised. Yep, he's going to come out like that. We are going... I wouldn't be surprised if he passes here though. We're going to put him in a hook curl. He's motioning that guy. Can we fill the gap? No, we don't. That's going to conclude the third quarter. 14-10. Uh, he has possession of this game. If we stop him to three, we have a chance to make a uh, game winning drive or not game winning drive but a overtime time drive and able to do something with that he ends up running counter I absolutely get bulldozed I was trying to make a hit stick he goes and trucks so obviously you know nobody's gonna win that battle against Derrick Henry let's just keep it let's just keep it real I'm gonna play the middle of the safety he's gonna run Wow, a whole team just gets duped. Um, Legereus Need is able to make a tackle. Now, at this point, he's already too deep in. We have to play Ben Don't Break. Making sure everything is getting covered at all times. He runs a stretch. Jack Youngblood gets in the backfield. Stop him to what looks like the first negative game. A uh, negative gain of the play of the game oh my god my English is atrocious but you know hopefully we can get some we're gonna come out and cover six press make it look like we're sending heat in all actuality we're not though you want to be able to disguise your defense the same way Mm, that would have been a tight window to fit in, but we had two people over there on that side. Um, and I'm confident that we would have been able to got uh, to get the pick if it was accurate. So now he's going to come out. We're going to play the low zone. We're going to be screaming out in this play. He has nothing open. He has nothing open. Somebody come and make the play. He fumbles. Can we make something out of nothing? Can we make something out of nothing? Get the block. No. He gets a reach. That should have been crib. Wow. Now that's two forced fumbles by him. Two crucial mistakes. What could have been at least six points added to the board. He had, would have full possession. Now we just have to capitalize on offense. We have to make sure we make right reads. Um, we make the right play at the right time. Because we can have last possession and he does not look like a passer at all. Cameron Crew is lighting up. That is not something you want to see. But you know, we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do here. It looks like he's gonna stay in a cover three. Can we get over the top on that? We I tried to throw it deep. He ends up getting back to that. I didn't think he was gonna be able to get back to that though. If I would have been able to throw it earlier, that would have been the best bet. But unfortunately, we don't let that get our way. We're going to have a little high-low concept here. See nothing. Make him go upfield. He's going to choose the wide receiver. 
I ended up getting six yards with Josh, which makes it a third and four. Now this, we can run the ball, we can pass the ball. We have a lot of options to do, but we're gonna go ahead and pass it. We have a post coming from uh, Will Fuller. We're gonna block a running back. We're gonna drag Kyle. We have the crosser coming over. We're gonna move Will Fuller over. And I get about right there. I think we were able to get the crosser. We end up getting a throw out of sack. I have to stop rolling out on that. I'm ready to just take off. I have to stay patient and let the offense come to me. Obviously, we're going to go for it. It's fourth quarter. Um, and we have to try to make a play here. Now we're just going to have a little high-low concept. Hopefully, somebody can get open on this. Can we throw it over that? He he catches it. Let's go. I'm not sure if he dropped it or, ca or caught it. That's why I kind of just stood there. But he goes. Uh, Deshaun Jackson makes a great play. That's why we bought him. He has two receptions for 97 yards. He's going to stay in the prevent. Why not run the ball? Why not run the ball? We get good real blocking on that. If he's going to stay in the three-man front, we're going to go ahead and do what we got to do. We have control of this game. We just have to make sure we score. If we don't score, that is the worst possible thing that could happen. It looks like he's in a cover too. So we're going to do that. Block him. Have him on a drag just in case. We're going to go ahead and hit the check down. Which sets us up as a third and one. We're going to be in a gun formation. We're going to be in a slot again. And we're going to run an inside zone. He's going to be expected run. Does he have anybody aggressive? No, he doesn't. He ends up getting good, a uh, gap shoot. And does Saquon fight for the first? He does not. It is a... Uh, fourth and one. This is going to be ball game right here. The absolute ball game. We're going to come out in doubles. No, we're not. Well, yeah. We are going to come out in doubles. And we are going to run halfback angle. We can take a timeout if we need it. Um, because we have nine seconds. If I, if I like what I like, I'm going to go ahead and hike the ball. Um, I do like it. We're going to call it base. We get a good comeback right at the two yard line. Now we have to score. We have to score. He's going to take a timeout. He knows. He knows. He knows what's going to happen. We're going to come out and trips tight end. We're going to double team. He has the inside stuff there. We're going to go ahead and double team him. Saquon gets to two. We're going to no huddle. We're rolling out. We're rolling out. That's fine. Time out. Six seconds left. Game on the line. Do I have the ice in my veins? We're going to come out in doubles. It's third and goal. We have 30 seconds. Because we just called a timeout. I'm not sure what the play call is. I'm not sure what the play call is either. Um, you know, we're going to call this sales concept. We're going to go ahead and block Saquon. Actually, no, we're not. Hopefully, Saquon can get open on this. High ball. Back of the end zone. Oh, no. I had it. I had to die. I decided to high ball because I thought he was going to get there. Okay. This is the final play of the game. Fourth and goal. absolute final play of the game we have nine seconds we do have a timeout if we need it 
I don't like what I see here. We're gonna take our time out. Fourth and goal. If y'all liking the video so far, go ahead and leave a like on this. We're gonna call slot cross. We're gonna come out in the doubles. Make them spread the field out. We're gonna we're gonna read our options, see what we have. We're gonna leave Pitts on the drag. We're gonna put Saquon on a streak. Hopefully he's not covering the running back. Kyle Pitts! Oh no! He's down at the two! That sucks. That sucks. That's a tough way to lose. We had the touchdown. We had the touchdown. If if Josh Allen was able to get the ball faster, we had Kyle Pitts on the drag. We had Kyle Pitts on the drag. I was trying to get it there early. He ends up getting pressure and makes a bad throw happen. A chase to the pylon and fortunately does not go our way. Wow, that's a tough one to lose. That's a really tough one to lose. Um, but you know, tough losses. That that's gonna make us better in the end. We're gonna be able to um, rewatch the game when I go ahead and edit this video back and see what I missed, see what reads I could have hit, um, what I could have done to play better against the run, against the pass. We're gonna be able to change all that. So, like I said, this is the first mutt game. Unfortunately, it's a tough loss. Doesn't go our way. But we're going to be able to build up on these experience and um, and hopefully come out with a dub next time. And like I said, if you like the video, go ahead and give a thumbs up with this close nail bite of a game. Um, and until next time, until next time, peace out.